Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down this trade that I called on Thursday new, during New York session. Literally gave us a 4%, four times our risk, one to four. So I know you guys are actually going to be able to pick up on a lot of knowledge and value from this video. I'm going to make sure that to, to make this um, as detailed and as simple as possible. It's as detailed and as simple as possible. So let's get right into it. Let's delete everything. And let's actually have my chart exactly how I had it set up. So first things first let's um uh okay so if we're trading on thursday let's draw the highs and lows of days first so the high and low of day is going to be coming from wednesday if we're trading thursday it's going to be one previous trading day before so it's going to be the highest and lowest points between frankfurt and new york session so again we're trading on thursday high and low of day is going to be coming from wednesday the highest and lowest point between these sessions here okay so this is going to be our high of day right here, our high of day right here, this point right here. And I do this on M5 time frame. The M5 time frame is the most precise. So this is our high of day. And then our low of day is going to be this point right here, the lowest part between these sessions. I mean the lowest point. So we're going to move this like this. This is our low of day right here. Okay. so. If we're trading on Thursday, again, high and low of days coming from Wednesday, and then the previous high and previous low of day is gonna be coming from Tuesday. And you guys are about to see in a second right now why I do this and the reason I do it like this, and you're gonna see how specific these areas are. So this is our previous low of day right here. Previous low of day. And then this is the previous high of day right here. Notice how I did not mark this point right here, although it seems as it's the highest point of the day, but it's not because it's not in the session. The session starts at nine. This is at 8.55, literally out of the session. It has to be in between, like in the sessions. So that's the previous high of day right there. And then real quick, I, I, my, my chart is pretty much empty. I just have the highs and lows of days and these sessions. And notice how specific these areas are. Notice the supply right here, how I teach you guys to draw supply and demand, the previous contrary candle before the push. Notice how we have this supply right here in confluence with this previous high of day. Notice how price touched this area of supply how in confluence with the previous high of day. And then notice how that's where the volume came in from. Like I can't make this up. These points are very specific, especially when there is a hot uh, supplier demand in confluence with them. So let's continue. Let's go into the higher time frame real quick. Let's go to the weekly time frame. So let's do this. Let's draw the supply that we're coming from right here that is creating this push to the downside. So notice this. Notice this previous contrary candle that gave us this push to the downside. Notice how we're having a pullback into that area. And once we touch that area, we've been in a bearish movement since. So we touch this area of supply right here, this previous contrary candle gave us this push. Notice how as soon as we touch this area for the past few weeks, we've been having a bearish movement. So now that we have this drawn on the weekly, let's go to the daily real quick. And this is another area of supply that was created on the daily time frame after touching this weekly. Notice this previous contrary candle before this push. It kind of looks like a left head and the right shoulder is literally going to be in the area of supply. So this is just an area to keep in mind. This area right here. And then let's break this down right here. So I could actually draw this as the area of demand and it would be valid. But the point is to be more specific and more precise. So let's go to H4 and you guys are going to see how precise this is. Excuse me. Okay, so notice this area of demand right here, this previous contrary candle that gave us this push into the weekly supply. So notice this area of demand push into supply. After we touch supply, we're getting a bearish move. But notice this. Notice how when price touched this area of demand right here that created the push into the supply. Notice how it interacted here. Notice how we had this pullback and then we touched it again and then notice how we're having that pullback. So these are just things to keep in mind and notice I'm literally teaching you guys how to how to find the true areas of supply and demand. So now that we have this done, let's go to. OK, so we're, gonna, we're trading on Thursday. So let's do this. Let's go into replay mode. Right there. Perfect. This is literally what I was presented with when I sat down. I sit down at 830, do my analysis, but I take a trade. I usually take trades. I don't take trades unless the setup is, looks perfect right before nine. I usually try to be disciplined about that and just take my trades at, at, at nine. But how I said, sometimes pre New York gives a nice setup and the entry will literally come right before nine. So if you don't take it, you'll miss out. So let's go over this and you can see how precise this is guys. Check this out. So 
Notice this. Let's go to M5 time frame real quick. And I'm going to break this on an M5 time frame. And you're going to be like, holy crap, this, this guy, he knows what he's talking about. So <laughs> check this out. Check this out. I'm literally share. I try to share as much value as I can with you guys. So look at this. Notice this. Notice how it just looks random. But I'm going to break this down to you for you guys. So notice how this area of supply was created during, um, during London. And then you can see we're getting this move to the downside. But let's break this down very specifically. So let's mark it like this. This area of supply right here. Notice this previous contract candle gives this push. Notice how once we touch it, that's where the volume is coming in from. But let's be more specific. So this is literally how I teach you guys how to draw supply and demand. The previous contract candle before the push. But let's just look to the left and see what price is where price is actually at. So notice this area of supply, this previous contract candle that gave this push to the downside right here. This previous contract candle push to the downside. Notice how this is where we're at right now. And look at the parameters one second for this right here. Look at this area of supply, how exactly this is. And then notice this. Let's do this. Just keep in mind this one right here from London. And then watch this. Now I just stretch this over right here. And we're going to mark this previous contrary candle that gave the push to the downside this one right here like that notice I'm, I, I literally drew it exactly how I teach you guys like previous contrary candle and then look at this notice how it's literally the exact same parameters for this area of m5 that was created during London so this is a very valid supply notice how it gave us this push to the downside we touched it and then we created this area of supply literally with the exact same parameters and then that's where this volume is coming from. So seeing this and being presented with this, um, when, it comes to, when I sit down to do my analysis, the first thing I see is this is the first part, main target. Notice how we have this void right here and gave this push to the upside. So whenever you see a void like this, price usually likes, likes to fill these voids. And this is a very valid area of demand right here. This previous contrary candle that gave us this bullish movement. So check this out. This is the main target down here. And then we're going to do this. So this is the M5 supply that was created during literally right before um, right before New York. So I marked this like this, like this, like that. And then if we go to M1, you'll see that it's in confluence. M1 and M5 supply, they're in confluence. So check this out. We have this void right here. This after like the volume came in, created this void, and we have this supply right here. So we also actually we also had news at 9:15. So check this out. So this is literally right before the news. So I placed my sell limit right here and actually called this trade. I literally sent this trade out for free. So speaking of that, if you guys want to take my types of trades and these types of trades, I literally just launched the signal group right now. So it's going to be 30 days, non reoccurring one time payment. If you guys are interested and you want to take my types of trades, I'm literally showing you guys the type of quality trades that I take. So just keep that in mind. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, so check this out. So the trade looked like this. This were the, the exact parameters. Like this. It was 10 pips. Okay, I don't know why it's not. All right. Uh, all right, there. And then one to four like this. So check this out. Let me put this thing specifically where it was at. Okay, so this is what the trade looked like. So we have this in mind, guys. Let me, let's break it down one more time before we see what price did. So, sheesh, I don't know what's wrong with this mouse. All right, there we go. <laughs> so check this out. M5 supply right here. M5 supply, income, literally same spot, confluence. We're getting volume coming out of this M5 supply. We have this void down here. These are all our confluences to take this trade right here. So notice this. As soon as the news, let's actually go to M1. And let's see this on M1. So check this out. Let's go and fast forward. So notice as soon as uh, New York opens, keep in mind we have news at 9.15. Boom. What does price do? Look at this. It literally taps this area of supply, I'm telling you guys. And then look at the volume that comes out of this area. And then price pulls back into it again. And then that's where the move comes in from. Check this out. Boom. Look at this. I, I literally can't make this up. So this is literally how the trade was perfect. Look at this like that. This was literally the parameters for this trade. So I'm telling you guys, if you want to take my, these types of signals, take advantage. So the trade looked like this and look at the, the main target that was hit down here. Look at this area 
of demand that created this push to the upside notice how price reacted like that's literally the main target price was hit and i mean the target was hit and then notice how what price does as soon as it touches this area notice how we're getting this bullish move from this area that created the move so it's a very these are very valid areas of supply and demand guys you just have to um train your eye to to actually see them and know the valid ones so check this out so this was literally the trade we have this m5 supply and one a supply and confluence we have this m5 supply from london and the other supply literally every everything just pointing to sell with the void and the main target down here so you guys see how simple this is hopefully you guys um we're able to pick up some value from this video drop a comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one